Hi guys, so here's another question regarding the Gear S that I received um, in one of the comments. And that was uh, regarding the charging base. And what I wanted to share with you is that um, we talked a little bit about the charging base, how it's used to charge your phone, but it's it actually plays two roles. Uh, first, it is a charging base for your gear, you know, which it just connects right there on the bottom. But it also is a battery backup. So uh, one of the things I'll just show you is you'll notice here that there's this little LED here uh, that's quite visible. Watch what happens when I plug in a USB cable to it. So we're going to go ahead and plug in this USB cable to it. You'll notice that it lit up. I'll do that one more time. So right now it's uh, blinking red, but I'm going to plug it in. It's, uh, again, lighting up red. And it's going to cycle through a couple colors. Eventually it's going to go uh, blue. And that's because, uh, like I had mentioned, this is a battery backup. So if you keep this in your bag, if you keep this um, when you're traveling, um, you can keep this in your purse, uh, ladies, if you have a Gear S. And your battery is depleting. Uh, let's say you have 5%. Or let's say your, your, your watch is dead. You could get up to... Now, Samsung says 50% battery life from one charge. I was able to get around 45%. Uh, so uh, that is not bad as, as far as the estimations go. So I had my gear, um, and I was doing some testing, and my gear was at um, close to 30% uh, battery left after two days, which I have to say is you know, it's just amazing the battery life that you get out of this thing. So after two days, um, towards the end of the day, I had 30% left. I connected this without the USB connected to it, and I was able to, within an hour, to get around 45% more battery. So I was just shy of 80% uh, total battery uh, when I disconnected um, the actual charging base. And that was because it was completely exhausted. So what ends up happening is when you plug it in to the gear and it is on its own charging, the little LED will light up and you will also see a, a charging symbol on your gear. Let's see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and take off my gear. So I have it right here. I'm going to unplug it, like we said. I'm going to align the, the charging uh, connector. And you'll notice that the LED is on, right? And if I turn on the gear and I tap on it, you'll notice I have the charging symbol is going. So it is right now using the base to charge. Now, the LED is not going to remain on. Sorry about that. The LED is not going to remain on all the time. But if I go back into it, you'll notice that it is charging. So this is a great option uh, for those of you who are on the go and are concerned about, you know, is my battery uh, on my gear going to survive? Um, and the answer is yes. Um, I could say based on my experience, that carrying the battery back up with you without a USB charger and then having your Gear S with you, I've been able to get two days of average use out of my gear without charging. With this, this would probably push me over to a three-day. Again, without having anything plugged. So I hope this answers uh, the questions for those of you who are asking about the base and the fact that it does charge and how much of a charge you get out. Again, close to 50%. Uh, battery charge in an hour. Not bad.